American River sees dam removal as one of the fastest ways to restore our streams. These projects often achieve multiple objectives, including improving public safety and recreation, as well as improving aquatic habitat. Dam removal projects work best when done in partnership. The Upper Sitico Creek Dam Removal Project was excellent thanks to our partners, the U.S. Forest Service and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. My name is Erin Singer McCombs and I'm Associate Conservation Director with American Rivers. My name is Allie Reddington and I am the hydrologist for the Cherokee National Forest. My name is Ricky Campbell. I'm a project leader with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. My name is Jim Herrig. I'm the aquatic biologist for the Cherokee National Forest. And today we're on the shores of Sitico Creek where we're removing a barrier dam that's uh, preventing our fish from uh, being able to move up and down the streams. So what we'll do is go in and cut notches in it. And as we cut the notch, we can get in there with a jackhammer and rock it back and forth and uh, take the bucket in on the thumb on the little excavator and just take it out of the creek and haul it off. This has been a terrific experience between working with American Rivers and Fish and Wildlife Service um, and our agency, the Forest Service. It's been remarkably simple to get this project done considering the complexity of working in a stream that contains threatened and endangered fish. Yeah, we have uh, three endangered fish that are in uh, Sitico Creek that have healthy populations in Sitico Creek. Uh, two of them are mad toms, which are tiny little catfish that never get more than about two inches long. And this is one of the best populations for both of those species that's left in the world. They exist downstream of here. They don't do well in a high gradient stream. They need very low gradient. So their habitat ends about six miles downstream of here. We also have the Sitico darter, which is named for this stream. And this is uh, one of three populations of Sitico darters left in the world. So dam removal is one of the big ways that we can, uh, we can do this. You know, if we can expand habitat, get these fish to better habitat, uh, it's, it's just one more tool in the toolbox that we have for, for recovering or, or doing restoration work. But a barrier dam like this only allows the genes to flow in one direction. And it's very important that they be able to go both, both ways. And removing the dam will, will benefit that. The way we accomplish most of this dam removal work is by uh, developing partnerships, working with partners, federal entities, state entities, or non-government organizations. We did the initial site visit. The Forest Service did the design drawings. We had a conference call to determine who was going to do what in terms of procurement and equipment. Um, and here we are. With this dam removal project, we're making a huge step towards moving through our Watershed Restoration Action Plan. American Rivers is a nonprofit organization, and if you're interested in learning more, you can visit us at our website at AmericanRivers.org.